Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Today I'm going to show you another update. This time the system is configured as a Fluxgate generator. I already had the setup running because as always it takes some time to get up to speed. I'm going to go to the figures numbers first then I'm going to stop it and show you the whole thing. Uh, but firstly this design now I'm testing is not of my own it is a design of the person that call himself T1000 on the Over Unity forum I will write uh, its name and put the link in the comment section for those who want to go to that uh, forum and uh, check uh, him out of the stuff going there or whatever anyway now uh, first of all, the system is running slower because uh, of this layout. I have some uh, drag on the system. It's not that bad. So uh, let me put it like this. I'm still running the system on 24 volts, but because of the drag, it is now consuming around 150 milliamps. Here's the meter for 150 milliamps and at 23 volts so that's around uh, 100 milliamps more than normal when the system is open so uh, no loading the coils uh, I have a RPM of 715.0 when I load the coils as they are now I have by the way I have six coils we we'll go through that in a moment like I have now loading the coils, two sets of three. The RPM will drop to 704, which is around 11 RPM drop. And when I short the coils, uh, it will speed up the system to 717.6. And that is two RPM more than the, than the open system uh, RPM. Let me show you. The outputs in the dark, they're pretty good, pretty stable, but there are three coils each in a series, so that's more than normal that they are stable. System is running very quiet, very smoothly. Uh, from my own experience, I can tell you if I should run this setup now to around, let's say, 1000 RPM or uh, a double 1500 it will speed up when I um, also load the corals at this moment it only speed up when I show them but because this difference is so slow, uh, so uh, small between open and coils loaded and I have this kind of effect before you only need to drive the system at a few um, RPM higher maybe the double and you will also get speed on the load while loading the coils and not only on the short in the coils anyway going to stop it now first of all I have uh, this is over here this beam over here and this piece of iron it's, this part should be maybe plastic or whatever non-magnetic but it's just a simple setup just to test the idea this is the uh, stator which house 12 neodymium magnets which are the same as these ones here this rotor uh, is, a, uh, is my 8 pole rotor with the uh, half a spear iron disc I've used the 4 pole and I've also used the, um, the 12 pole man those two gave me massive cogging so much that the system won't even run but this one as you can see and give it a hand not a hand, give it a little bit of spin by hand. The corking is not that bad. Even though it's not that bad, as you can see now, it does reduce the RPM a lot. Because normally this system would run around 1800 and 1900 RPM. And now it's only doing 715. But as you can see, and by hand, you can feel the corking where it is but it's very little so that's a good start okay stator 12 a neodymium 
rotor a pole and here I have six coils in there and as you can see I bridge the course of the coils two by two by two um, I've all tested to bridge them all together I don't see any other effect this uh, it doesn't increase the input so then I don't do it and if I put uh, this coil with this one the effect is um, not there either only these two works and these two and these two so I let it I leave it like that give you a better look of it yeah I think you get the idea so once more give it a just a little spin just with a little spin the lights are coming on already you can clearly see it spinning at that spot still spinning no it's not on it's just still spinning so the cogging effect in this configuration 8 sorry 12 magnets 8 pole rotor 6 coil and 6 cores it's pretty good actually Okie dokie, uh, let me think here. Did I forget something? Mm, no, I don't think so. Anyway, I will write all the information as always in the comment section. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and as always, thank you for watching.